Hello and welcome to Chef Carter's Cooking Corner. So today we're going to be cooking cauliflower. It's one of my favorite vegetables. So what I just placed, this is a paper towel that's been wetened or moistened and it should, there we go, it holds your thing in place. <laughs> This, this is kind of floating up though. It's warped a little bit, the cutting board, but that's okay. We'll work with it. So here is the star of our show today, Mr. Cauliflower. So sometimes you might see a little brown on that. You just scrape that off if you want to. It doesn't hurt anything. It's just part of the coloring of the cauliflower. All right. So... I'm choosing which knife I want to use. I actually want to use kind of a small knife today just to kind of get around this leafy part, which you can compost if you like. All right. So I'm just going to kind of cut through there like this, get the leafy part off. So you may hear in the background it is raining. Today we're having a pretty decent rainfall. I had just watered my garden this morning. I guess I didn't need to. All right, here we go. But it's all right because my plants will know that I love them. <laughs> all right, they just don't know what happens once they get in the house though. Ha <laughs> ha. Like to this poor fellow, Mr. Cauliflower. Hmm. All right. I'm going to keep going with this. All right. So you can see, you just kind of work your way around. And you can kind of see why I chose a smaller knife today. Because, you know, the 8-inch butcher knives or 8-inch uh, chef knives are nice. But sometimes... You know, you want something smaller to kind of really get in those little tight spots. All right, so here we go. And you know, you really could use this for soup stock if you want it to. All right, so here we have the center of this cauliflower. So now you could take this and roast it whole if you want it to. So I'm actually going to be making a few things with this like mashed cauliflower and maybe some cauliflower cakes. I haven't decided on that yet. It depends on how much we have left over. So there we go. And I'm trying to preserve as much as the stem as I can off each piece. So see that? That's all edible. So we don't want to waste that. Okay. There we go. That. I'll look at that. That needs to go over here. It's the leafy part. I don't think it would hurt if the leafy part got in with the vegetable. You know, the only vegetable, like there are some vegetables you do have to worry about the, the leafy part, like um, tomatoes. You know, I hear, hear that the vines and the leaves are poisonous. So you definitely don't want to eat that. Okay. So, you can see I'm just working my way around here. You sure you can still see me? I'm kind of at the edge of the thing here. Okay, so just cut each of them off like so. Each of the florets. Florets. Ooh, come over here. Okay, so there we go. And you know what? I'm actually going to cut some of that stem to cook with it. All right, so yeah, again, you could make vegetable stock with this if you wanted to do that. Yeah. 
Alright, so here we go. So I'm going to break some of the bigger pieces up. You know, if you wanted to just serve cooked, you'd want it to be about bite size if you wanted to just cook it up. And I'm going to mash these up eventually. So the bigger ones don't really bother me. You know, you wouldn't want, usually you should have everything about the same size. Ooh. But this is fine for my purposes. All right, so I'm going to take those over to the pan. So here's my pan. I'm going to go ahead, put my cauliflower in there like so. There we go. See that? And you might say, well, you only had about an inch of water. And that's because whenever you cook vegetables, you want to serve the vegetables with the water you cook them in because that's where all the vitamins are. Well, not all of them, but a lot of vitamins are in the water. Ooh, I told you it was storming. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go ahead and get these started. All right. And I'm going to put a little salt on the top there. Just a little bit. It'll work its way through. I would put pepper, but pe the flavor of pepper expands as you cook. So you don't really want to put pepper at the beginning. And if you do, just a small dash. Alright, so I'll be back in... It should take about 10 to 15 minutes, and it's on medium. So we're going to let that do its thing. What I did was I boiled it for about 12 minutes, and then I let it sit for an additional 10 minutes to make sure everything was tender. So we can mash it good. And so I'm going to go ahead and pour just a couple tablespoons of cream on that. A nice, oop, a nice dash of seasoning salt. And so you can kind of see there's still some liquid in there. So it's about a tablespoon, not quite two tablespoons of cream. And I want to put about a eh, little more than a quarter cup of cheese. It's the last of my package here, Italian style cheese. So it's up to you which one you want to use. All right. So now I'm going to take my potato masher. And you see how that mashes up? And of course, we're going to taste it for seasoning after I do this. Look at the cheese stretching. That's why I like the Italian blend because you get flavor and you get stretchiness. I also like using that on pizza. Okay, so you see how that mashes up. So I really want this to be fine. working this. Let me go ahead and taste a little bit for seasoning. So, <laughs> I don't want to eat all my cheese out of there. Got to smash some pieces. Okay. Here we go. Oh. 
trying to get this cheese string off. <laughs> it's making me fight it. Hmm. I like it. It needs to be seasoned just a little bit more though. I know it's going to seem a little heavy, but it's a lot of cauliflower. Cut up, getting a different fork. Okay, there we go. So it's really good. Now it's not quite the texture of mashed potatoes. It's really close. I wonder if I use a blender. Sorry about all that clanking. If it would make it more creamier. Hmm. Be right back. All right, so here we go. All right, so I got a little plate here. So I guess a little plate is a little saucer. You can kind of see the texture of it. It's not like sticking together like mashed potatoes would. But the flavor is reminiscent of mashed potatoes. But the texture is not quite right. Now some of you might say, well, you didn't put butter in it. But, you know, cream actually has butter fat. And so, actually, if you take cream and shake it up, you will make butter. So, it does, in essence, have butter in it. You know, and the cream acts as, the, you know, adding more moisture. So, I wonder if I had added less moisture, how it would have been. Hmm. All right. Well, that's my episode for today. Make sure to stay safe, wash those hands, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And stick around and watch more videos. Alright, thank you for stopping by Chef Carter's Cooking Corner.